Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. And this time round, as you can see on the banner, we've got Kaname san alongside Mikumo in this current summer uh, event that's going on right now. So let's take a look at Kaname's episode plate and see whether she is definitely worth uh, your money or maybe your interest in trying to obtain her episode plate. If not, why not get a brand new swimsuit for Kanamei-san? Alright, so immediately you can tell straight off the bat, Dana is being nice as always ever since the SP broadcast um, that happened. And they announced that all the first pulls on any brand new Dekau Cha Gacha, I should pronounce this properly, Dekau Gacha uh, will be at 300 singing stones for the very first pool only. So for players who are free to play, this is definitely one way you can save up the extra 200 singing stones that you would normally spend on a gacha pool for maybe a future gacha. Uh, or maybe even save up because, well, it's currently uh, Utah Macross second anniversary and there's gonna be a buttload of gachas that's gonna be coming uh, reissues like this one. Um, this was Freya's very first swimsuit and of course they are reissuing the episode plate because maybe um, newer players do not have the episode plate or costume points for this uh, particular swimsuit and of course it is now their chance to actually obtain it but anyways we are past that because well we have been playing the game for over two years now and we want brand new things so here we are let's take a look at uh, Kaname's episode play as you can tell straight off the banner actually promotes its total max score which is pretty much the same all throughout the Wild Kure's uh, floral summer swimsuit costume uh, collection and well 3604 is actually the total max store, uh, max points before the plus 25 luck uh, is added to it so let's take a look at the episode plates stats with the plus 25 luck inclusive of these, um, the entire calculation all right so 3854 pretty decent stats 3600 something is basically what all the summer uh, colored Valkyrie uh, episode plates actually have why am I using the term summer colored Valkyrie well because the, co the same source actually appeared um, first on a fashionable Macross event um, that happened not too long ago and yeah so the swimsuit design or rather the costume designs are all named as floral summer all right so let's take a look at the rest of the stats basically kaname's plate has the best stats on charm and then of course every other um, stat out there is slightly lower than the highest um, points in the whole listing all right so as usual for the whole entire series the episode plates are not meant to be used as center episode plates with high score achieving purposes rather they will have a pretty decent center skill followed by maybe a good active skill but it's probably used more for mission clearing then of course followed by an awesome life skill that boosts high score all right so center skill for kaname's plates basically is units total is boosted by 20 percent up I I think so far all the episode plates for the floral summer costume has been pretty much the same in terms of its center skill. Alright, so let's take a look at the active skill. For 30 seconds, your damage is reduced by half. So Kaname is more of a protector. Um, I guess that's what a leader should be doing, protecting her other party members, um, you know, and maybe even protect the chaos team um, from being inflicted by Va. Uh, Alright, so life skill, score and damage. So immediately when you hear that, basically we know that Kaname, Kaname's plate is actually used for both short and long duration songs uh, because this life skill actually has the 100% boost in score but at the cost of your HP dropping for uh, 16 seconds when the entire boost uh, lasts. 
Uh, Alright, so let's see whether Kanami's Plate actually has that special note attached to it to make it all the more better as compared to the other members who have already gotten their episode plates released. So sadly to say, like the rest of them, this plate doesn't have any special notes attached to it, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. So if you're a Kaname fan, definitely you would want to obtain this episode plate um, for its um, illustrious illustration on the card itself, and of course, that costume that you can have Kaname wear. But not forgetting, if you are a hardcore Utame Cross player, if you don't have a hard element plate or a pink element plate, whichever one you call it by, that is of this um, status in terms of stats and skills, definitely you might want to consider adding this into your collection or maybe upgrading your older plates to this one. Alright, so let's do this. I'm going to just pull a single template pool for 300 singing stones and that's it. I don't know whether I'll do any more pulls off screen depending on how itchy my fingers get. But if I do, usually you can find my videos uploaded on my YouTube channel, Facebook page. Link is in the description down below. If you're a Macross fan, why not join uh, the Macross community uh, that I'm administrating. Uh, link is also in the description down below. Macross Space Time Day Culture. You can join us there and we can have lots of, uh, um, well, fun, I guess. <laughs> um, depending on um, what you guys want to share in terms of content because recently the last few hours uh, a lot of you have been sharing a lot of your macross merch in a very interesting way and it has brought laughs to many of us and i thank you guys for that so anyway <laughs> guys let's do this 10 episode plates in this just one single pool hopefully uh, I will be blessed by Kaname-san with just one single pool because the rest of the Walkery members didn't exactly been uh, blessing me with anything, you know, aside from disappointment. Anyway guys, let's do this. Okay, we get a few planes. Oh, we do get five, so there might be a chance. If we do get lots of red boxes, we can ha hopefully get it evolved. Two red boxes at the second bling, that's not a good sign, but okay, whatever, I'll just take whatever that comes out. Of course, if it's bad, then it's bad. Oh, we do get a play evolution, there we go. Makina blesses the box, and ooh, we get an old play, okay. <laughs> well, we do get the Sea Forker uh, come out, so that's not too bad. Um, it, it, it's gonna upgrade that old play, uh, probably gonna have more luck um, or secret boards attached to it, but. I, it kind of may would have been nice, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so skipping all the common stuff. Don't give me that wing kind of me, son. You're supposed to pop out and give me your costume. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Do we have any new plates that actually can give me kind of me, son's costume to use episode ops on? Yes, we do. And the last red box is a brand new episode plate belonging to kind of me, son's uh, lineup. So that's pretty fantastic. There we go. We get a notification to say that we can use episode ops to unlock Kaname Sun's swimsuit if needed. But of course, that's going to be very costly because episode ops are so hard to come boy. So there you can see my Fokker Sun has gotten a plus two luck secret board. So still three more away from getting it as a Kira Kira episode plate. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, guys. Hopefully you guys have better luck than me as usual. I'm sure most of you out there will probably gotten Kaname's episode played already because uh, some of you maybe have not played the game for too long and uh, I mean for, for quite some time and of course your your luck has been probably boosted by Dana because well you have just returned from a long hiatus and why not grant you a brand new spanking new Kaname episode plate uh, to add to your collection just because you've been away for a long time. That's probably one of my speculations in terms of how you can actually improve your gacha luck but still to stay away from the game for too long and miss out on events it's kind of painful to do uh, considering that i've been playing every day non-stop since the game's launch so that is 
probably something I would never try to experiment with with my main account uh, unless I purposely make a brand new account just to do this but that's just wasting more time I suppose anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching uh, do let me know if you appreciate all the info as usual by hitting the like button to this video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and I'll see you guys in the next full time across gacha video until then bye